Hi everybody, Keith Holland here. What we're looking at is an early 60s Gibson EBO base. Uh, you see it's, uh, it's been, I've been working on it here. Uh, well, the problem with this base was that the, uh, the truss rod had been stripped and um, here on the edge here where the, uh, where the nut goes on for adjusting the neck. Uh, over the years somebody had uh, routed it out and routed it into here and uh, tried to make it work and uh, well the owner and I established uh, that we had to uh, change the truss rod out so here's the old truss rod here's what I removed uh, what I did basically is I took and uh, removed the end of the fretboard here and uh, the truss rod was attached here at this this nut here this is the end piece that uh, went right in there. Um, I took my Dremel router along with my little um, saw here and cut through that truss rod there at the nut so that I could drive the nut, uh, the truss rod out. I removed the nut and drove the truss rod out through the end down there. And uh, that's where I stand right now. I've got uh, my new truss rod over here. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, uh, cut it down to the right length um, and install it with the new nut, uh, braze the new nut on and uh, right here and attach it. And, uh, and then I will reinstall the end of the fretboard there. I'll touch up the finish, reinstall that fret, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and uh, level the frets on this. The frets are old, but uh, she wants to maintain the original frets here. So I'm going to, uh, uh, to level all the frets, uh, reassemble everything here, including the pickup that I've had to remove here, and uh, set it up. And hey, we'll have a new guitar, just like a new old bass. All right.